So I'm Pablo Garcia Pavia, I'm the director of the Heart Failure and Inherited Cardiac Disease Unit at Hospital Universitario Puerta de Hierro in Madrid, Spain, and also group leader at the National Center of Cardiovascular Research, CENIC, also in Madrid. Today I presented the results of the cardiac exploratory analysis of the ILIOS A. That is a phase three clinical trial of butrician in patients with hereditary TTR amyloidosis with panopathy. Butrician is an RNI uh, therapeutics that is subcutaneously administrated once every three months and is uh, designed to block the production of TTR, of transtyretin at the liver. Its mechanism of action is very similar to Patisiran, another RNAi therapeutic that is currently available because it was approved for the treatment of uh, TTR amyloidosis, hereditary TTR amyloidosis with panopathy. The difference, well, among other differences, Butrisiran is administered subcutaneously once every three months, and Patisiran is administered IV once every three weeks. Ilios A was uh, a study where 167 patients with hereditary TTR amyloidosis with panopathy were randomized to uh, receive, in a 3 to 1 fashion, to receive butrisiran or patisiran. But in the trial, the butrisiran group was compared with an external placebo arm from the Apollo study, which is the study where patisiran was first demonstrated to be effective. This was chosen to have a group of patients not receiving any drug. The neurological endpoints of the trial have already been communicated, which were the primary endpoint of the trial, and they were, they were positive. In this uh, study that we have reported today, we have reported the data about cardiac parameters, which included NT-ProBMP, stintigraphy findings, and echocardiographic parameters. Regarding nt pro -BMP, the patients on Butrisiran had a stability or reduction of nt pro -BMP at 9 months and 18 months, both in, them, in the MITT cohort or the cardiac subpopulation compared with the patients who received placebo in the Apollo external comparator. Regarding echocardiographic parameters as well, there was a, strain at, a strong trend uh, towards improvement in the patients who received butricidan compared with external placebo of the Apollo trial, both in the MITT population and in the cardiac subpopulation. And finally, regarding stintigraphy, there was a planned cohort of butricidan patients in the ilios A trial that had an, an stintigraphy test performed at the beginning of the trial and also at the last follow-up, 18 months later. While in this subgroup of people, uh, of patients, a majority of them showed an stabilization or reduction in the cardiac uh, up, uh, tracer uptake at the end of the study. The key message of this study is that the patients treated with butricidan improved nt pro -BMP and there was a strong trend towards improvement in echocardiographic parameters. Moreover, regarding stintigraphy, which was the, for the first time studied in a randomized clinical trial, it was found that butricidan, um, a majority of patients who received butricidan had uh, a decrease in the cardiac uptake, suggesting that there was a reduction, a possible reduction in the amyloid content of their hearts. Well, we need to see the effect of butricidan in a cardiac cohort. So for that, the ilios b study is currently being conducted, and in that study, patients with hereditary TTR amyloidosis and also wild-type TTR amyloidosis are currently being studied with butricidan. We will see at the end of that trial that this is specifically designed for heart endpoints in a mortality, or as mortality and cardiovascular hospitalizations in a cardiac population if this therapy is effective for TTR apathy.